All right, Marco Rojas, uh, you've, you've been in Melbourne now for a few months. How are you finding things? Yeah, it's good. Um, I really enjoy the city from what I've seen and the boys have been really good and they've helped me a lot to settle in very quickly. What have you noticed about Melbourne in terms of you came across from Wellington? How, how does Melbourne victory differ from uh, where you were previously? Um, no, I, I like it here. It's good. Like The way that we play or the way that we're training to play is very good. The intensity of the trainings are good. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to, to the couple of years that I've got here on my contract. And um, the Phoenix was a good first stepping stone for me. You just returned from the Under-20s World Cup. How was that? That was, that was unbelievable. Um, just to be a part of such a tournament like that uh, gave me and the rest of my, the boys and my team a good buzz. And we enjoyed it very much. Now you're here today icing your hamstring. Anything to be worried about? No, I shouldn't think so. Um, I did, I did it when I was at the World Cup, and it's just a bit tired, a bit tight, but we'll be alright. And you made your Melbourne victory debut against Celtic. You couldn't really have imagined uh, a better stage than that to pull on the navy blue for the first time. No, I couldn't. That, that was that was an amazing game. Um, I thought that I'd have to wait till the A League started to get to hopefully get like that starting game, but to play it against a team like Celtic, you who every guy dreams of, dreams of playing in Europe and to play against a team like that as your first game was an unbelievable feeling just to be playing with the fans behind you and to sort of settle in and get used to the new ex like atmosphere, the new experience. And what do you make of Amy Park? It's a pretty special stadium. No, it's a pretty cool stadium. Um, it's, I'm enjoying every minute of it and with the crowd, the 20,000 that were there, it was unbelievable and I look forward to the rest of the season. And one of the new boys here at Melbourne Victory, who have you, uh, who have you buddied up with, who you tend to spend most of your time with away from the club? Um, oh, we've been training quite a lot so I've been here most of the time but uh, I talk a lot to, the, to pretty much everyone, like we spend, everyone's a good, good bloke and we spend a lot of time, a lot of time together but I talk more maybe with the young boys and the Spanish-speaking people in the team. Now, a lot of Melbourne fans wouldn't know that you're fluent in Spanish. How do you go with uh, Carlos and the likes of Solazano and Roddy Vargas as well, Spanish speaker? Uh, it's good. Like, it's good to know a second language, and that's why I learned it with my dad and my grandma, was to make sure that um, I could speak it. And I'm not fluent, but I'm getting there, and uh, it just makes it easier for me to be able to keep practicing my Spanish with those types of guys here. All right, Marco, thanks for your time and good luck for the season. No worries, thank you.